Welcome back, everybody. Now, uh, before the commercial break, which I hope you all enjoyed, uh, we were talking about the internet conspiracy theory that Hillary Clinton is suffering from brain damage. Now, that's been debunked, but what is still embunked is uh, Hillary Clinton and her emails. Yesterday, it came out that the FBI has uncovered 15,000 more previously unseen emails from her private server. That is ridiculous. I have thousands of unread emails on my own inbox. Now I have to read 15,000 of hers? <laughs> By the way, and I mean this sincerely, Match.com, thank you for sending me all those profiles of available African-American women in their 40s from the Cape Girardeau area of Missouri. Uh, but I'm good. Here, here's... This is, this is a true story. My kids thought that my wife and I uh, would be a perfect match on Match.com. And so they said, why don't we sign you up for Match.com separately to see if the computers would match you, because we think they would match you. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I told them in no uncertain terms, do not do that. Yeah. <laughs> I do not want anyone reporting that Stephen Colbert has signed up for Match.com. And they said they didn't. But I have started receiving emails from Match.com that, for some reason, are sending me uh, mid-40s, very friendly-looking, uh, full-figured uh, hey. sisters. Oh, yeah. From, uh... Hey! Yeah. Yeah. And uh, asking me to holla back. And... <laughs> I... 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 I'm flattered. I understand the appeal, but, uh... Thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> now, where was I? <clears throat> where was I? Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, okay. Now, uh, here's the deal with Hillary and the emails. There are so many of these Hillary emails out there that the State Department says they'll be putting them out in batches with the final batch scheduled to be released just four days before Election Day, and Election Day, by malcalculations, is still... Let's see. Mm. Mm. A reason to drink. And... But... Mm. But there's actually another, another new batch of Clinton emails. And these are ones are about her ties to donors at what's called the Clinton Foundation, which is a charity set up to distribute aid around the world and, just as importantly, to keep Bill Clinton busy enough that he doesn't spend all day trying to get the Secret Service to go to Hooters with him. <laughs> now, they got clam strips. They got clam strips. Delicious. Now, these, these emails show how the Foundation's donors sometimes got access to Clinton while she was Secretary of State. Sounds shady. But with all the questions surrounding all of these emails, it's hard to tell what's really a thing and what's nothing at all. So to figure it out, let's bring out the Late Show's <clears throat> thingometer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This is the thingometer, or a thingometer, if you're English. It shows how stuff rates on a scale of thing to not a thing. For example, uh, over here at thing, you have igneous rock, okay? <laughs> Clearly, a thing, and we know that rocks are a thing because rocks are what the thing is made out of. <laughs> here in the middle, halfway between, we have maybe a thing represented <laughs> represented by Hiddle Swift, which may be a thing, but I also hear is not a thing. <laughs> Honestly, who knows? Stay safe, you guys. Now, and here, over here, is not a thing, represented by Mike Pence mania, where teenagers take pictures of themselves dressed as Mike Pence, which, I promise you, is not a thing. <laughs> Yet. Yet. All right. <clears throat> so let's... Let, let's reset the thingometer. <laughs> let's find out if the Clinton Foundation scandal is really a thing. Okay, here's what came out in some of the emails. First, they show ties to a charismatic, power-hungry international leader, Bono, okay? <laughs> He's a Clinton Foundation donor, and he got them to send an email to Secretary Clinton's top aide, Huma Abedin, requesting a, quote, 
link up with the International Space Station on every show during the tour this year. Any ideas? <laughs> Clinton staff wrote back, no clue. <clears throat> in other words, in other words, he still hasn't found what he's looking for. <laughs> instead, <laughs> instead, this is no. Okay, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say not a thing. Okay, okay. Now let's reset again. Let's reset again. So what else is in the emails? A request came from the to the foundation for Secretary Clinton to meet with another major donor, the Crown Prince of Bahrain, and this time he got a meeting. And anyone can see that looks bad. Does not take a Bahrain surgeon, <laughs> or. Or, for that matter, a rocket scientist. Though, if you are a rocket scientist, could you please get in touch with Bono? <laughs> but... <clears throat> mm -hmm. But this might not actually be a thing, because the emails also reveal that the meeting was requested and set up through official channels. Wow, I am impressed that the Crown Prince of Bahrain used official State Department communication channels, because even Hillary Clinton didn't do that. <laughs> so I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say, uh, between uh, maybe a thing and a thing, okay? And we reset. Okay, now <laughs> the emails, the technology behind this is so advanced. The emails also show a request from a Clinton Foundation donor to get a visa for a British soccer player with a criminal record. However, the visa was never granted. So I'm going to say this, as well as soccer, not a thing. <laughs> now, mm, mm, mm. now, all these requests were being handled by Huma Abedin. And I'd just like to say, between being Hillary Clinton's aide and Anthony Weiner's wife, I do not envy her lifestyle. <laughs> oh, I'm so sick of these emails. Let's see what's on Twitter. Oh, God! <laughs> that, that is definitely a thing. <laughs> and... Here's something else. <laughs> oh, I love you. And here's something else that seems like a thing. Since these emails came out, Bill Clinton has announced that the foundation will stop accepting corporate and foreign donations if Hillary Clinton is elected. So, maybe Hillary's tied to the Clinton Foundation are not a thing. But clearly, Bill Clinton thinks they're a thing, which is kind of a thing. <laughs> So the Clinton Foundation scandal lands right up there at maybe a thing, which is the same ranking as bald guys with ponytails. <laughs> because it may not be a crime, but it sure don't look good.